Hi, my lovelies. <clears throat> okay, so I'm still a little bit nasally, but I am feeling much better. I still get a bit tired, but um, just giving you guys an update that I am I am on the mend, which is good. Thank God. Um, I'm missing my work very much, but there's nothing much I can do about that. I won't start till probably next week. I just want to make sure I completely don't have it. I don't want to give it to any clients. I don't want to be responsible for anyone getting sick. So I'll um, I'll start fresh on Monday. All right, my loves. So let's get into this. This is already painful. Just looking at her and her uh, workout gear. Pregnancy gym anxiety. Pregnancy gym anxiety. I think there should be. Oh no, maybe that's pregnancy gym anxiety. The fuck is she anxious about? She's only doing like twenty minutes on the treadmill. Gender reveal cake pops. Do it yourself. Oh, that's a disaster waiting to happen. And <laughs> daily vlog. <laughs> All right, guys. So I have not checked my Instagram. I haven't checked anything today. I've been totally off social media. I literally just came on because I've been doing a few things around the house. And um, so I don't know if there's any surprises in store for, for me in this or anything because I haven't really checked my phone and you guys normally update me. <laughs> so I'm going straight into this. Um, uh, I haven't seen it at all. All right, guys. Here we go. You know, has been um, <laughs> one of my largest anxiety so much uglier. <laughs> oh, Good fucking <laughs> cackle like a witch laugh. Fucking cackle. Back to a new vlog. So today is currently Tuesday. I didn't go to the gym yesterday because I was so tired from our family time on Sunday. Oh, that must have exhausted the fuck out of you. Sitting down and talking to... I know sitting down and talking to family. I always need a nap after when they leave. That's sarcasm. In case you guys didn't realise. Fucking entitled cow. So I <clears throat> pushed my workout from yesterday to today. I wanted to give like a little bit of an update on like working out and how that's looked for me during pregnancy. Um, I already had breakfast. I am drinking some of my coffee and it is hitting for a while during the first trimester it wasn't hitting but now it's hitting again which oh, is great it's funny because i fucking hit feel like after the first trimester my food stuff has just changed so much like the food aversions from the first trimester that were very like i didn't want anything salty everything tasted way too salty i wanted like fruit or sweet things now i feel like i'm kind of getting back to like my normal taste buds where i like things again and I like salty stuff again <laughs> I like it all I still am craving fruit but I like it all <laughs> no shit so you're gonna you're gonna eat your baby under the table oh you know God, that sounded horrible you know what I meant guys she's gonna eat her food so fucking much she's back to normal guys everything's tasting better which is nice because that was a that was a crazy few weeks everything was disgusting okay so working out oh my gosh Everything was disgusting for the first few weeks. She must have absolutely fucking died thinking that she's going to spend nine months like that. Which would have been better for her because she would have actually lost weight if she couldn't eat everything. Working out has been um, <laughs> one of my largest anxiety points during my first trimester. So I actually kept my co-pilot trainer in the loop. This is not sponsored. Um, but I've had the same co-pilot. It's like an at-home personal trainer on an app. I when she says this is not sponsored, I think she means this segment is not sponsored, but I think she still is sponsored by Copilot. She must be. I've talked about them a million times. Um, her name's Leslie. I've had her forever. Um, over a year now, we've been working together. She knew about my miscarriage last year. We've gotten really close. I told her when I found out I was pregnant this time, and she was like, honestly, let's just do what you're comfortable with, right? What the fuck? What does she do that she's not comfortable with? What sort of exercise is she doing that a pregnant woman couldn't do? I mean, then again, I don't know, maybe she's on her back and lifting weights and she probably shouldn't be doing that. I don't know. I just assumed she wouldn't be lifting much. That's all. Right now, because I was like, I am so nervous. Because, of course, miscarrying last year, I you, you try to figure out, even though you know deep down, like, there's nothing you could have done. Of course, you just kind of go through everything in your head. And I'm like, should I have stopped working out? Because I kept working out last time. Should I have stopped working out? Was that part of it? Like, you just, no, you I know, don't know. You know. No, but you know what you should have done was lose weight for this one. That's what you should have done. She's wondering all the things possible that she doesn't want to get blamed for. God forbid if she loses the baby. 
She doesn't get blamed for anything. You know what you fucking do, Alexandra? If you really fucking cared, you would have lost the weight. But you, you didn't. So you really don't care as much as you say you do. Don't say you do because you fucking don't. You don't want to put any effort into losing weight through your pregnancy and before pregnancy. So don't sit there and say, oh, I'm scared to exercise. You should be scared of your fucking weight having the effect on the baby more than anything else. You go through just such an emotional roller coaster and I was also really tired so she was like hey let's just let's just drop it down to taking walks let's just walk for now I walked either at home or at the gym but I which is what I said all along fucking walk 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 hold back for a solid time on weights and doing so fucking dumb doing weights while you're pregnant I mean when I say doing weights while pregnant I'm not referring to anyone else I'm referring to her because really what is the weights gonna do for her seriously the elliptical as well also because I've just been like very out of breath but I still want to like what's fucking you you're always out of breath and now that you're gonna become even a bigger heifer you're gonna be more out of breath keep up with movement and staying strong but I didn't know when I'd feel comfortable you know good luck with that good luck with the staying strong part good luck with that no, if at all going back into like workout workouts during pregnancy just because that first trimester I was so like I said I was so anxious I like really appreciated um you know Leslie just gently guiding me and then also there was that like few weeks during the first trimester where I just felt so sick and tired there was like probably a solid like two weeks where I just like did not like do much at all so around so like your usual you don't do much at all anyway you only fucking work out three days a week do you fucking realize this do you realize this? I think maybe around 10 or 11 weeks. I had messed Jesus Christ, her chins. Sure, and I was like, I think I'm comfortable to add some weights back in. Um, so that's when we added in some, you know, light weights um, for that first week to see how it was going, see if I felt comfortable. At that point, I had gone to um, that 10 week ultrasound and I got to see after my little scare that the baby was fine the heartbeat was still really strong and I'm like okay like I actually kind of miss working out I'm starting to feel better because that was around the time where I started she's so fucking full of shit she actually misses working out since fucking when I wouldn't mind working out if I worked out like you either because it's hardly working out to feel like myself again a little more energized I'm like okay I think I want to try to ease back into it and we did so like I said she added back in um slowly but surely some light weights and now we're kind of getting back closer to where we were before um now that I'm going like on 13 weeks still taking it slower than before though still like I'm not back up to the weights where I was I just want to maintain strength throughout this just to like keep my body strong and healthy during the pregnancy then you need to fucking lose weight that's what you need to do if you want to keep your body healthy during pregnancy you need to lose weight and not put on any more weight um but that's how that's how it's been going so that was kind of my little my little update with exercise and pregnancy because you guys know i've been like back at the gym for like a year and a half now oh my god i can't i can't she actually has deluded herself into thinking she's done something fucking wonderful a year and a half after gastric bypass and fucking look at you alexandra look at yourself in the mirror for the love of god are you that fucking delusional you got mental problems what the fuck is wrong with you look at yourself in the mirror how can you stand there and be proud how how fuck me dead consistently and i really enjoy it it's consistently. really consistently 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 for three fucking days 20 minutes one day a week on the treadmill consistently good for my mental health and it, it just makes me feel better like it makes me feel stronger and healthier and just happier well then you're fucking delusional if it makes you feel healthier then you are fucking delusional because what you're doing wouldn't touch the sides on you that's how fucking big you are so for like that little like chunk of time where i was just so nauseous and tired and like not working out i think there was, yeah there was a clip in the first trimester vlog where i was just crying <laughs> in my bed um and i just like my mental health was just like low because i was just not feeling good so it feels so nice to feel like myself again and like i can get to the gym and like I don't know and it kind of lined up with like winter ending today's actually the first day of spring and it's sunny and I'm just I don't know I'm feeling so much better and I'm very 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 grateful because I know so many people you know stay sick throughout more of their pregnancy so grateful for Jesus the acne scars on her face and again she has no one else to blame but herself for that she has not because she actually told us that she picks them so she's the one to fucking blame for all those scarring there it's like this chick is even worse than that one.
feeling better right now um, and I'm about to go do my workout. So right now um, I do a 30 minute walk on the treadmill with a little bit of an incline. Then we have dumbbell. I can imagine the incline. I can only imagine. Dumbbell lateral front raises, dumbbell curls, tricep extension, machine and then I have to make something very exciting. So we're hosting Easter this year at our house and it's right after we get back from Florida. So I'm trying to like prep as much as I can. I'll have Yara do some prep while I'm gone as well. We're gonna do a little gender reveal for my family when they're here on Easter. And I wanna do like some cake pops, some homemade cake pops with the reveal inside. So I wanna prep those. So I got- Oh, how unique. How unique. Oh my God. Oh the stuff in my order to make that because you can freeze them for like up to six weeks so um, i'm gonna do that so that's out of the way so after she's talking about being healthy wanting to be healthy feel healthy healthy this healthy that healthy this healthy that fucking bullshit and now she's making cake pops as a fucking reveal she's making cake pops as the reveal she couldn't have gone for a healthier alternative or something completely that doesn't have anything to do with food related reveal no it has to be a cake pop reveal Way. I don't have to like worry about it, but I got some cute little pink and blue sprinkles and I'm trying to decide how I want to do it. I've seen some fun ways where um, like they're all just like vanilla, but then one person gets the color reveal, you know? I do know the gender. Yara does too. <laughs> it's actually a very funny story, which I will share another time because it didn't- Oh, fuck off. So fucking annoying. Not uh, go as planned when we found out. So <laughs> anyway, all right, let's go get a little sweat on. Sorry, that to me is an absolute fucking waste of time for her to even pick up one of those before she loses all this fucking fat. That's a waste of fucking time. Oh yeah, look at that baby bump. It's fucking huge. It's a huge baby bump. God, she's gonna do it again. Did she, she try to look like a muscle? Is she, is she trying to look like oh, the, just the way she grabbed it? I have to do it again. The way she grabbed this, and she's trying to, is she trying to flex? What the fuck? <laughs> Again. <laughs> There's nothing there, Miss Olympia. There's nothing there yet. Oh my god, I've got to say it again. <laughs> There's nothing there. Fucking delusional. Oh god, is she so fucking delusional? God, oh, the making of the bed that has to be in it. The making of the fucking bed, seriously. Okay, guys, I just went ahead and took a body shower and I'm gonna do some skincare. I just got this in PR. Oh, I needed that love. The new glow recipe, they're not acne preventing, but it's also you put on like a face product and it just with effective skincare and it just it has a so if we have extra people can take them on it and I can get the tupperware open, but I made enough for two regularly. So when that comes, we're gonna make the cake pops. All right, howdy, I'm just checking back in. It's actually dinner time now. So I'm gonna heat up some leftovers. Last night I made these little kind of like Chipotle inspired bowls, but I did my own little spin on it and I can't get the tupperware open, but I made enough for two nights. So we've got a layer of brown rice, a layer of like, um, like a bean and pepper. Oh, again, it's a fucking bland color oh all different shades of beige situation i did them together um like peppers and then on top is shredded chicken that i did in the slow cooker because like normally i don't do it with shredded chicken but i'm like let's switch it up let's make it different so i'm gonna heat that up for us and then oh my god she's so fucking boring i mean then it's thursday friday and then we leave so it's kind of like i don't know it's gonna be tight it's gonna be tight and i'm just i don't know why i'm like so eager to make these damn cake pops also i've been you don't know why you're so eager to make them? 
because you love to eat them. That's why you say you get to fucking make them. Snacking on these since I came home and put the groceries away. These are like the best grapes I've ever had. <laughs> I swear. Get ready for the crunch. Oh, no. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear your fucking crunch. Or, honestly, I think it was like 20 bucks and it comes with a lot because I was just going to order cake pop sticks at first. Then I saw all these kits and I'm like, okay, I got the pink ones because I love pink. Don't read into it too much. Or maybe do, or maybe don't. Ooh. Oh, go fuck yourself. Couldn't kill us. Okay, so these are the molds. So we do be boop bop, we put the boop, we put them together and it makes a, a cake pop, you know? Don't totally get how, I guess you just fill each side and then, oh, and then there's a stick hole. Okay, that's, wait, but how do you, wait, okay, I'm really, <laughs> How do you get it out? She really is not very intelligent if this is confusing her. They've made it as simple as it can be for her. After, if I put the stick in, oh, okay, and then you'll take the top part off and pull it out. Okay, okay, okay don't, <laughs> don't worry about me, guys. And then here's our, <laughs> we have to assemble it. Um, shouldn't be that bad. It's just, uh, just a beep boop bop. We'll figure that out. What is a beep boop bop? What is a beep boop bop? She's trying to talk like her friend used to talk, um, Kelly later we've got a ton i'm gonna be making cake pops for a hot ass minute during holidays we've got the sticks the baggies and the twist ties all right let me wash these and then we're gonna start mixing up our cupcake i don't understand why she's doing them now and she's going to freeze them aren't they going to taste yucky i mean they don't taste as fresh as when they're obviously made fresh i don't i don't, I don't get what her hurry is into a mixture <laughs> All right. You fucking flap those things in our faces one more time. So I've got slap her in the face with them. Our little vanilla cupcakes. There may be a little one missing here, so don't worry about that. And then I forgot I had this left over. Maybe a little one missing. Maybe because it's down in your fat gullet. From the holiday bark we made during Vlogmas, but I did also buy these Lily's white chocolate chips. So maybe we'll end up using both. I don't know. I actually probably do need this much white chocolate to dip all of them in. And then look how cute. I got this uh, pink and blue sugar, and I'm. Why is that cute? Decorating sugar, why is it cute? I do like half and half on them, so super fun. So now, yeah, if you want like easy cake pops, you can use leftover cake, buy a cake. So she's not actually making the actual mixture. She's buying vanilla cupcakes and using them. Cake, cupcakes, it's all. Fucking lazy cow. It's all the same. And we are just going to Put all of these in here and then mix them on up with a mixer. Jeez, guys, can you imagine how sweet that is with that um, icing sugar there without this sugar? We call it icing sugar. I know you guys call it frosting. Same thing. I don't know if I'm like choosing violence here by wanting to do this with a potato masher. <laughs> Is she fucking serious trying to do it with a potato masher? She's got all the fucking utensils in the world. When I say utensils, like she's got that machine that mixes this shit up and she's using a potato masher. But I really want to, so I'm just like letting it happen because I just don't feel like I need to dirty my whole KitchenAid right now. Like, come on, look at this. It's like it's happening. Yeah, because you're too lazy to fucking clean the KitchenAid and the KitchenAid will do a much better job than what you're doing. <laughs> super easily so yes let's see this is I, I really tried to think about how these would like really condense down um because <laughs> they're very fluffy so i hope it makes enough it's a feeling like it's not going to be enough <laughs> but you know we'll see we'll see this is why i do things as early as i can because then so you're allowing time for them to fuck up because you know they're going to fuck up Sometimes the, there needs to be improvised. Okay, yeah, these like mashed right up. These cupcakes were very like soft and like light and fluffy. And delish, by the way, if you need a good little mini cupcake, Whole Foods. It's definitely giving cake pop consistency from what I can see here. All right, there we go. Beautiful. Yeah, I mean, we might have enough. My family is small. How many, how many? I don't understand why she needed those fucking um, uh, <clears throat> cake pop holder things, uh, shape things. Can't she just roll them? Wouldn't it be just as easy to roll? Like roll them into a ball rather than having to put them in there and go through all that shit and then have to, to put them in the freezer to set or whatever. Can't you just roll them and put it on there? Do I need them? I really think. Wait, wait. Two, four, six, eight, ten. I should know this by now. My family's so small. <laughs> I think I only need ten. I already went ahead and washed these. Yeah, I don't know. These, these are some pretty, pretty hefty cake pops. 
we'll see what we can do. Let's see how far we get. I mean, actually, no. So yeah, we gotta fill. I gotta make sure I'm doing them. Oh my god, this is giving me anxiety. The way she's holding it and doing it, put it flat on the bench and do it. And then flatten this out with the back of a spoon. Clean all this up so it's a perfect circle. It's not Even that fucking hard. Here. I'm going to do one on each side as I go. Just to make sure I'm putting them in the oh. correct spot for them to mold together. Look, look how messy she's doing them, guys. Look how messy. She doesn't even have the intelligence to know that she needs to... This area here needs to be clean around it. <laughs> oh, great. Wonderful. She's using her fingers. Beautiful. Okay, so <laughs> clearly I have no... Um, a sense of how much this would make. So the great thing is we've already got 11 here and then the 12th one will be the reveal one. So I'm going to mix the color in here and bingo, bingo, bongo. You guys will- Oh my God. Th this is what her baby's gonna talk like. Bingo, bingo, bongo. What the fuck is that talk from a, a 40 year old person, pregnant woman? Bingo, bingo, bongo? not see that part until easter vlog okay i just put the cake pops in the freezer to harden then i'm going to assemble this and then by then we should be able to do the white chocolate and then dip do our sprinkles also i know you guys are smart so i have blue and pink dye on my hands because <laughs> you know what i was like they notice everything um how hard is this there's definitely like uh stuff on here all right you ready for the ready for the magic guys her hands are definitely more pink though aren't they Cake pops are frozen, and we're just gonna frozen. Frozen. It's frozen. The word's frozen, not frozen. I'm gonna like go for it. I've got my pink and blue sprinkles. Got my cake pop stand. Okay, so they're like a little deformed. <laughs> What's fucking you? And I knew that would be. I knew she wouldn't get them perfect. I knew it. <laughs> I hope they fall apart. Because <laughs> you have to like line it up perfectly yeah, don't worry do. my hands are washed um but you know what that's okay <laughs> oh try. my god i hope those hands are washed can you imagine fucking eating those cake pops with her hands being all over it gotta make them look okay 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 i gotta work i gotta get, I gotta get to work <laughs> okay this stick keeps coming out oh i just need to like i need a new point of entry here <laughs> okay 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 we dipped it <laughs> If you're my future child watching this, mommy did this for your reveal. Okay, uh, this is already so much uglier than it was in my head. Oh. I mean, I, oh God, I suck at crafts. Oh my God, this is so ugly. Wait, okay. <laughs> this is so ugly, okay. I think- She's manic, guys. She's fucking manic. She can't ever do anything properly. She just panics and she's so fast and wanting it done yesterday. I have to dip it, let it harden a little, and then go into the sprinkles. Okay, all right. Well, stand by. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try another one. Mold was a little bit off. That's the only thing with the mold. Okay, dip, 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 dip. Okay. Really? You, you, you fucking need to let that stuff dry a little bit, set before you put them. Before you put them in there. I mean, obviously not 100 percent, but and I'm not a baker. I'm not a baker at all. I'm just guessing, but I would say that she's going straight from in there, and that's really hot to in there. That's just gonna keep falling off the fucking stick now how are we what's the tea with this situation i'm gonna let them like firm up a little after i dip them what i would recommend is don't even put just don't even put the sticks in until after because they just kind of come out okay all right let's see i don't know how long i should wait to do the sprinkles i really don't want to mess it up i'm glad i have a few extra but i don't want to like 
you know, waste a bunch. Do you guys like how I still always, I always still try to do this stuff, even though I'm not like the best at it. You're, you're fucking hopeless at it. Hopeless. Maybe these aren't frozen enough. Okay, I think enough time has passed where I can go in and attempt this one. Mm, still a little bit soft, but doable. I wanted to do like one side of each. Okay. It's not the worst. It does look pretty. Those two colors look pretty together, but it's <laughs> so fucked up. Okay, I'm gonna wait a little longer for the others. pleasing stuff <laughs> they're not aesthetically pleasing and she's gone from nice round and smooth to leaving them looking like that gosh she's lazy many hours later and I would not totally recommend <laughs> doing this on your own no, actually, you probably would do great. I struggled, but here's from my experience what I learned. Let's just ditch the sticks until later when they're firm because when you're dipping it in the chocolate and the chocolate's warm, they were like falling down the stick. So I take the stick out. Then they started getting too warm. So I had to put them in the fridge on parchment paper, then kind of reshape them. It was just, oh. it was a journey. It was a journey. It was a shit show. Tomorrow. Hey, you guys. <laughs> There's nothing she can do that's right. And I bet you she's going to give her mother the one with the reveal. It is the next day of vlogging in the car. I'm currently almost... You're vlogging in the car. Again, Alex, you haven't listened. You haven't heard anything that anyone's told you about don't vlog while you're fucking pregnant. To my grandma's. Bruno has his head out. And to people who say she doesn't take her eyes off the road. It was a road. journey. Well, it's one second in and she's already fucking taken her eyes off the road. You fucking morons. Tomorrow. Hey you guys, it is the next day. I'm vlogging in the car. I'm currently almost to my grandma's. Bruno has there you go. Are her eyes on the road there? No, they don't look like they're on the road to me. They look like they're on the fucking camera. Has his head out the back window. He is and on the cruising. The second we get off the highway, he's like, all right, put my window down, mom. But I think I told you guys that Greta and I are going to go, uh, did I say this already? I don't know. We're going to go decorate Easter cookies. Um, my mom's working and so is my other cousin, Lucia. So it's just me and Greta doing the heavy lifting this year but my grandma already baked doing the heavy lifting this year well you're he man master of the universe aren't you according to yourself miss muscle woman the cookies and greta and i are going to decorate them hopefully it goes better than my cake pops oh and my mom's calling beautiful oh stunning models are you famous you're famous Max, I love you, Max. Maxie Duty? So are you, Big Buana? We're missing one of them today. I know she's not here. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Max is relieved. <laughs> but Bruno misses you know who C H A Z A J. The gang's all here. <laughs> As if she can't fucking say Cha Cha's name. Seriously. Just to spell it. As if the dog's gonna really lose it. It's the way you say the name too, not if you just say the name Cha Cha. It's like if you say Cha Cha, you say Cha Cha. <laughs> When I laugh, you fucking SpongeBob. You're SpongeBob. Don't show Greta as SpongeBob. You're SpongeBob. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Max is relieved. <laughs> but Bruno misses you know who C H A Z A J. The gang's all here. <laughs> When I laugh, it makes my stomach hurt. I don't, oh I don't, my don't have, God, she has the fucking laugh. <laughs> but Bruno misses you. Sorry, guys, I'm rewinding it again. I want to see what the SpongeBob says. No, who's C H A Z A J? The gang's all here. <laughs> I don't want to hear a lot of them. <coughs> the gang's all here. There we go. That's certainly her. <coughs> when I laugh, it makes my stomach hurt. I don't, I don't, we don't have, I, I thought we have for plastels. Plastels? Yeah. Plus I should have brought the sprinkles I had at my house. I had a lot of sprinkles. Well, I, I think I have more, but I don't know. You, you usually have like a huge bag of them. I know. Well, I brought up the one bag and it's all Christmas. It's all Christmas. red and green. Christmas? Well, we got Christmas here too. No, we can we can uh, pick through it. And we mainly paint anyway. Yeah, it's more about the frosting. So we've got pink, blue, purple, and yellow. We almost accidentally forgot yellow, and then we had to scoop out the dye because <laughs> we've got little. Chips. That was smart thinking to do that right away. Oh yeah, these are the prettiest. We need to always do the neon for. Oh my god, they also look like a shit show. <laughs> these, it's really pretty. Show yours, Mimi. Nice, good job. Oh, stunning work. Oh my god. Then she had to pick up Max. Max. 
<laughs> had to get out of work. Okay, you guys, I am back home and I'm starting to edit um, this vlog. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. And oh, it was fucking scintillating. It was just so over the top. I'm super excited for more fun content ahead, but I just, it doesn't feel right if I don't come on here. Every once in a while, I'll just end the vlog, but it just feels wrong. So coming on. Yeah, it's fucking rude is what it is. Anyway, guys, that's it for this one. I have um, a couple of different ones coming up for you. So I'm going to do them next and um, edit them and get them up for you guys as well. Something a little bit different. Um, but this is it for now. I also want to take the time to thank you all. I've reached 2,000 um, uh, subscribers. Well, it was when I posted it. Let me see how many there is now. Um... Let me see. 2011 subscribers. So I would like to thank you all for subscribing. I really appreciate you all. Thank you so very much. This channel wouldn't be what it is without you guys. So I have to thank you all so very much. I know that I appreciate each and every one of you. And I will talk to you all a little bit later. Thanks for um, watching with me. Speak to you soon.